Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Nathan. I'm Julia. I'm Jacob. And it's Disney. Is Disney Souls? Souls. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! We but did it. It's not Soul Calibur. No. It is Disney Souls? It's Disney Souls because we, I guess, we mentioned we made we talked about that in the Kingdom Hearts in the Kingdom Hearts enemies, episode. Uh, yeah. So Sam Melber suggested, you said it, now you gotta do it. Dark Souls Disney. We got do it. We did say it, so now we must do it. This so, is a curse we've unleashed upon ourselves. So this yeah. is this is sort of a design challenge. This is almost like a mini style mashup challenge. A because bit. we're each giving each other Disney characters to draw, but we have to try and redesign them as Dark Souls bosses, which yeah. uh I think that could go I'm wearing headphones. I don't know why. <laughs> You don't have to. I don't have to. to. That's just a little peek behind the curtain, guys. (laughs) Okay, so Julia, you have a Disney character for me, and I am going to try and reimagine this Disney character as a a, a horrible monstrosity that has been cursed by time and ash. Is ash something? That has something to do with it. Yeah. Nathan, I tried to pick something that I felt like was very you, and also I just wanted to see it get all twisted. Okay. I would like you to draw Bambi. (laughs) (laughs) Bambi, huh? Because I was looking at some Dark Souls bosses, and they do have some animals in there that are all all gunked up. Bambi. Yeah, they've got some... uh... A lot of messed up animals, a lot of messed up people. Yeah, a lot of just so, like animal skulls. Is in this it. is this young Bambi or like I guess this would be like an ancient Bambi because yeah. all the all the Dark Souls bosses are creatures that like have existed forever, right? Yeah. It would be like Bambi on Protector of the Wood or something. Yeah. Okay. Eternal Bambi. Okay. Yeah. So what you thinking, Nathan, going into this? We got a little bit of scullies. Yeah, I'm thinking like deer skull. But yeah. like more teeth. How like, many teeth deer got? Well, how it doesn't many really teeth? matter how many teeth Bambi got. Um, it's like none. Does Bambi have teeth? Bambi yeah. doesn't have. Allow me to Google this. Many visible teeth in the sort of the, the Disney version. Thumper has a missing tooth. Oh, we got to get Thumper involved. Oh, I, is this, it's one of those two for one. Thumper bosses. Thumper's gonna be like the channeler. For, yeah. For Bambi's gaping. Gaping Bambi. Gaping, don't say gaping don't be, Bambi. Don't say that. You can't say that, Nathan. You know what a lot of the Dark Souls bosses have? More hands. More hands. Yeah. Oh. You can't go wrong with more hands. So I think, and, and like real spindly hands that grab you. Yeah. That like reach out and grab. Yeah, Bambion would definitely have an attack where it grabs you with two horn hands and like brings you to its face and screams right yeah. in your face. For sure. So and then yeah, does I a think, chomp on you and insta-kill. I think... We're gonna get just some some real, some real long hands. It is very hard for Bambion to move in the woods. Ironically, too well, big. The, the woods part ways oh, okay. for Bambion's. Passing. I don't know. I don't know if Bambion moves. I feel like Bambion has become like one with the woods. Oh, okay. Ooh. I think so. I think like Bambion has is this like deer tree. I like that, and uh, it has a bunch of these sort of antler branch arms that swing at you, but then like it summons all of the creatures of the forest, all the like corrupted yeah, yeah, yeah. creatures of the forest to come. So and... you've, you've unwittingly uh, kind of made a, a bed of chaos situation here. I don't know what that Dark means. Dark Souls 1 boss. I don't know what that means. That is uh, rooted in place and has long branch like arms that swipe out at you. Okay, so Dark Souls did it already. So saying this is this is good. You're thinking in the Dark Souls way. Okay, I'm thinking You're in the mindset. In the Dark Souls style. And you've got other bosses like Grave Lord Nito, who who summons skeletons out from his sort of abyssal body. Grave Lord Nito? Yeah. <laughs> Nito. Nito. Yeah, there's just a whole ra- just a robbing whole some set graves. Of memes. Like pictures of him with sunglasses that say that's real fucking Nito. <laughs> Great. I you know, Perfect. it's a good it's a good community. Can I request, mm-hmm. since you only have like that one big tusk on the left side there, mm-hmm. can the right one be like snapped off, like yeah. a broken tusk, I like oh, that nice. asymmetrical style? Yeah. yeah. Like Bambion has seen some battle before. Oh, for sure. M- many have come. Because Bambion lost his mother to a hunter. Yes. That's, that lore is still the same. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to channel some of like the Dark Souls item descriptions, yeah. you know, and thinking about like this. And it, it, it would definitely be like you'd get an item from Bambion and read the lore, and it would be like, 
you know, Bambion lost its mother to a hunter uh, years ago. Some say, and in the night you can still hear her screams. It's like Bam- <laughs> uh, you get one Bambi's tear. Yeah. yeah. And I think Bambion's probably weak to fire. Yeah. Cause and gun. It, it, Very yeah. weak to gun. Yeah, if you have gun, if you've stolen a gun from Bloodborne, you and, can- And uh, brought it into Disney it Souls. In. But it does, it, it like it's weak to gun, but it will attack you more viciously. Yeah, if, you if bring, it sees gun. If it sees gun. James gun? If it sees James gun. It just goes buck wild. It goes, hey, nice pun. Thanks. <laughs> buck two wild. two jokes in one, my wow. friends. That's, and, that's double jokes. And I think jokes. since it is a tree, it's probably just like dripping like blood sap. Sure. Ooh, some blood sap. Yeah, definitely some icker. Some, some icky icker. Some sticky icker. Give me that sticker icker. And it would definitely like, you know, cause poison or some bullshit. Oh yeah. You get poisoned. It would build up toxin every you're gonna, time you get hit with vines. You're, you're gonna get poisoned. You're gonna get poisoned you're, in this you're, fight. G- here's the thing. You're gonna get poisoned. And then yeah, let's get uh let's get a thumper. Oh, what if thumper's like in, in wrapped in the tree, in the roots. Oh, that's fun. Like it's a part of Bambion. Okay. Is that a hood or is Thumper screaming? It it was it's it's intention to be a hood. Okay. Nice. I wasn't sure if it was like a big mouth. No, that, that... Thumper was just wailing. No, I think because Thumper's like a a caster. Okay, yeah. I want to see you've given Thumper the many eyes of the like of the, the channeler, channeler mask. Yeah. I'm, I'm borrowing. You're, you're picking up some things here I'm and there about the some... Dark Souls. At least I can count on Julia to know nothing. I know nothing. That's and it. yet you're I know it's probably medieval-ish. you're probably going to get closest. Yeah, just, maybe just based on how you do thing. I'm hoping so. I really enjoy the aesthetic of Dark Souls. I've seen Jacob play a few times. I just I retain no information. Yeah, oh, you don't do a lot of paying attention. Yeah, no. I just kind of look. You you allow like stimuli to wash over you <laughs> yeah. in a in a tide. It's just like watching colors pass by. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're not committing any of it no. uh, to your memories. No. So I think in this fight, Thumper would be like the weak point to hit. Yeah. And if you get close, the tree Bambion sucks Thumper in mm-hmm. to protect. And I think it's like two different endings to the fight. If you kill Bambion first or if you kill Thumper yeah. first. Because one of them's gonna just get more powerful depending on which one you kill. Yeah, that's the first. Ornstein and Smo situation. What's Thumper's Dark Souls name? Thumper. I think Thumper. Oh. Yeah. All right. I think just Thumper. <laughs> Thumper's pretty badass. Yeah, I think Thumper works. Okay. Thumper was also one of the evil uh, grasshoppers in A Bug's Life. Oh yeah. One of the one of the those was named Thumper, I believe. I've not seen A Bug's Life, nor have I seen Bambi. They're My both... parents wouldn't let me watch Bambi because it's too sad. It's too sad. Oh. And I would just be sad forever. Well, it's just sad at the beginning when yeah, Bambi's mom but... dies. That's sort of in the middle. Is it? Yeah. I thought that was like the inciting incident. No, it's just it's a very sort of meandering. If I recall correctly, it's just sort of like a lot of like beautiful vistas of of forest life, and then yeah. Bambi's mom does die, spoilers. I haven't seen it since I was like a kid. I don't think it's very good. I think it's a classic. It's a, yeah, it is a classic. I think it's a fucking classic. <laughs> it's a Dude. classic, but to watch it- And how dare you. To watch it in 2019, you'd be like, what, can we like get to anything? In nah, this man. Can anything- Nah, man, it takes its time, here? it's beautiful. What are, we, a, what are we doing? What are we, we're enjoying nature. Journey. We're enjoying nature. If I want to enjoy nature, nature, I'll just go out into nature. Well, enjoy there's, it. there's less and less of that <laughs> now isn't there. Because of hunters. Because of hunters. <laughs> Disney was trying to warn us, guys. And now there's no deer left anywhere. Certainly not a glut of them overpopulating most areas they live in. <laughs> Roughing in a background, Julia. Is that fire can... back there? No, it's it's, it's trees. It's, it's just gnarly like, trees. It's gnarly, uh, leafless trees. Oh yeah, nice. Don't worry, I got you, Nathan. Uh, you would also definitely like enter the boss area, and it would be this clearing in the woods. Yeah. And Bambion would be like leaned forward, like you wouldn't be able to tell what it was. Yeah. And then you would kind of like unravel and scream at you. Hell yeah. yeah. Bambi loves to scream. If there's one thing I remember <laughs> from Bambi. Bambi loves to scream with all of all of his many teeth. With his many teeth. 
All well, right. excellent job, Nathan. Thank you. This is uh, this is Bambion, uh, keeper of the of the forest of the wood of the wood. Yeah, Bambion, keeper of the wood, keeper of the cursed wood. <laughs> I, it's you know it's not the hardest fight, but like you got to know how to do it because it, it, it's got some pretty annoying bits. Yeah, it's only like a mid game. Yeah, uh, boss fight. Yeah, Jacob. Yes, I have a Disney character for you. Yes, um, just based on sort of the time that we we're recording this episode, uh, mm-hmm. I feel like this is this is a relevant topic is for this you a to frozen? do. This is a Frozen Two. It's not a Frozen Two. Uh, it is a it is a powerful magical entity. That uh, has the internet uh, a buzz right now. Okay. That I think you could do a better job redesigning. Is it Shaggy? It is. Uh, it is the genie from Aladdin. Oh no! It is the genie from Aladdin. Oh no, are there, dude! Are there a lot of like spectral things in Dark Souls? There's like ghosts and shit. <laughs> you sound so tired. I am tired. <laughs> I don't want to like when I Google genie now. It's all Will Smith genie. Yeah, I don't want to look at that. They got you know they did they people people had a reaction to it. How could you not? They certainly had a reaction. It's the scariest thing I've literally ever seen. Yeah, so maybe just draw that. Maybe that's the. Dark. <laughs> <laughs> that's already a Dark Souls they, boss. I can't believe that done. that uh, Dark Souls tapped Will Smith to do the voice of <laughs> one of their bosses. <laughs> it's, it really breaks the pace of the game. He's having fun. He wraps the entire soundtrack to uh, to Wild Wild West while you fight him. But it's like orchestral and oh yeah, it's it's the arrangement is a whole incredible. Yeah, and a choir and but you know you can you can use any elements, any genie elements you want, and you know just really just really heck it. I figured you know he's a it's a big strong magical. Entity, yeah, totally. I would imagine, like maybe he. This is this is an alternate version where he never got set free, perhaps, and he grew oh. to resent humanity. I don't know. I don't sure, want to. Yeah. I don't want to write it for you. No, I mean, I appreciate any you know lore help here because I'm going to be focused on this drawing. Or maybe he got set free, but like didn't know what to do with his freedom, and he, he grew. He, he put a, he put himself back into captivity. He grew too powerful. Or maybe he fused with uh, Jafar genie because Jafar does become a genie at the end of Aladdin. You know, there's there's a lot of options, but I yeah, wanted sure. to get I wanted to get that SEO. You know, I'm always thinking about the bottom line here on Drawfee. You are. You're the and, real business minded uh, one. I would I would be remiss if we did not address the genie. You must address the genie. You you simply must address the genie. The problem that I'm gonna have to think about like straight away is. How am I going to approach this leg situation? Right, because and I don't the genie know. has Do sort want... of a, has a wispy, but he also sometimes does have legs. Also, he, he does sometimes. He have does legs. He's, a, he's a, a shape shifter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's also that scene where he brings up so many fingers on one hand. Oh yeah. So you can really give him as many legs as you want. Yeah. You can really do anything. Good. That's yeah. exactly what I want to hear as an artist. You can really do anything. You can do, do anything. anything. Why don't you, you just do, do anything? anything. The only limit is your creativity. Oh no! That's no pro. That's a. There's no pressure there. At I'm all. severely limited in that respect. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm thinking like I want to go with like something very like flowy mm-hmm. and kind of like ethereal. So maybe there's like flowy bits of like fabric. Yeah, maybe maybe his name, his Dark Souls name, is just like Spirit of the Lamp. It would definitely be something like Spirit of the Lamp. I think I'm onto something here. Cool. I want it to like hint at at legs, mm-hmm. but then it kind of becomes this like uh, you know just kind of flowy. Oh yeah. But sometimes a leg does materialize and kick you. Yeah, to, just to kick you. And you never know. You have to like. There's there's probably like an audio cue that you have to memorize because it's impossible to tell. So yeah, I want like a tattered. Oh, that's some good tatters, like dude. Some tattered flow. Have you been practicing your tatters? Cool. I've been really working on my tatters lately. That looks like the the statue that's in the Louvre with the, the wings. Which one? The Venus de Milo? No, it's like the 3D <laughs> of something. She doesn't have wings, oh, no. idiot. You idiot, Nathan from a minute ago. Nathan from a minute ago, get it together. Wings of victory or something. Oh sure, I've been to the Louvre once. Oh, yeah? I've been I've I've been to the Louvre once. Winged victory of Samothrace. 
Oh yeah. It looks it looks like that. It looks like that. It looks like that's, that. That's one winged angel. That's Sephiroth again. <laughs> I wonder what the equivalent is going to be for like today's digital artists in terms of because like those those statues they didn't look like that when they made them, but they they were able to preserve just like bits, like Venus right. de Milo's missing her arms. And I think it's going to be whatever gets chopped into a meme. Yeah. You know, like that, that's what's going to be saved. It's just going to be so, so like JPEG artifacted. It was really controversial when it came out, but yeah. uh, the people really made it their own. It's just going to be the distracted boyfriend meme with like a, a drawing on it. It's commentary on things <laughs> that commentary. you should be paying attention to, but don't. I think I want like a one eye, a one eye situation. A one eye angel. <sighs> Tight. It needs Sephi to be Mall. smaller, though. I gotta always like fight my urge to cartoonify everything all to hell. Yeah, it's hard with a with a Dark Souls, but yeah, they got they got the little heads and the big appendages. Yeah, I want him to have like sort of a you know a head wrap. So like his his head and face are mostly covered in like fabrics, and all those fabrics are like flowing and they're ethereal. And he needs to have like the top knot. That's critical. Mm -hmm. And it's I the one through that, line between the two genies. Yeah. You know, that that's going to flow in as well oh, here. That's cool. So I want to make it more flowy. More flowy, more showy. Because um, I think, like, the whole sort of issue with this boss is, like, he he moves around a lot, and he's very flowy. Mm -hmm. And so it's hard to tell which part is him. Oh, sure. Like, the part you hit, and which part is, like, fabric. Oh, yeah, maybe, like, it changes, too. It's, like, sort of just, like, like dancing different... around. So what's this genie's... Lore in the game? What are you thinking? I think probably he was similar to like Aladdin. He was imprisoned by like a king for his power, and the king used that power to like conquer sort of a, a um, realm. Oh yeah, maybe it was it was Aladdin after he be, he marries Jasmine and becomes the new sultan. He becomes mad with power. Yeah. And, like even though he granted the genie his freedom, he tricks the genie into like servitude again. So his name could be like. Genie, the Mad King's fool. <laughs> he's he's definitely Wh like wish granter of the Mad King, pawn of the Mad King, pawn of the Mad King, something like that for sure. Definitely the Mad King. Like by the time you get there, the king is long gone. Mm -hmm. He's been sort of you know destroyed by his own power, and so the genie's just been left to sort of go insane in his captivity with no no owner. And I don't think it's it's ever mentioned explicitly, but that that scarf he's wearing is the remains of the flying carpet. Oh, oh dude. Yeah. That's that's good. I definitely want to like get that in there. Maybe and the carpets underneath, like he's just wearing like so many like yeah. flags and scarves that he picked up along his his many years of being alive. Yeah, he's covered himself in in fabric to mask his true form. What he really wants more than anything is to be to be a free person. Yeah, and so he mimics human styles <laughs> by covering himself in a in Harry fabric. Style? He mimics Harry Styles. He mimics Harry Styles. Uh, what what else does he kind of have going on here? He's got he's got like the bracers. That's something that that both designs have. Yeah, you ain't never had a friend like this, dude. I, I <laughs> <laughs> oh, you ain't never had a boss fight like this. Like like me. Like me. Yeah, I think I want him to have sort of a, uh, he's like a a puncher. He's a puncher. Does he do the thing where like his hands detach from his body and like go all over? I would say that, but that's very silly. And Dark Souls usually doesn't, doesn't go for that. Okay. For detachable hands. No detachable hands. They don't like that. No sort of bongo bongo. No. Type, uh, type deal. I think he's just got, you know, these big ass hands. And he like warps around and like grabs you with them and saps your, oh yeah, saps your energy. Let's just put this hand in a place that makes any sense. Oh, maybe maybe this is a this is an optional boss and you only have uh you only have three chances. Oh, to beat him. that's fun. You have to expend a wish yeah. to engage the the battle yeah. with him. And after three, you can't do it anymore. Yeah, it gives you it gives you a wish option, but the only thing it prompts you to wish for is uh to to battle. Yeah. Yeah, and like when you defeat him, he's like, finally, I am free. And he, he just like kind of, he kind of disappears. Yeah. Disappears. He's got a belly button. Nice. I don't know why.
probably doesn't need one. I don't think he was like born per se. I want this, this whole is a, side to be covered up. This is a good challenge. Yeah. Like I love I these little mashups. Sometimes all the drawings we do are are kind of silly. I like it when we do an episode where we're all like pretty proud of the stuff we made on it. Well, we haven't gotten to me yet, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> Who Julia. knows where we'll land? Maybe we'll regret this. Maybe we'll regret everything. Maybe we'll regret making the channel. Julia, you always have the best. Sh- shut up. Shut up, <laughs> Julia. <laughs> shut your mouth. <laughs> Julia, I'm sorry I told you to shut up. It's okay. <laughs> I it's mean very it, funny. I mean it as a friend. I know. Uh, I think more, it's just more it's all gonna be it's all gonna more. be like twisting fabrics oh, yeah. down here. This, oh, is, nice. this is one that I'm excited to work more on after yeah. the fact. Oh, there's you're gonna of, do some shadings. There's a lot of detail I'd like to put in that I can't do right now because it's gonna just take too long. This rules. Yeah. But yeah, I want him to be like mostly twisting fabric. And uh then his hand comes out and he does a punch on you. I think his head is just kind of in the wrong spot. So I am gonna rectify that real fast. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably. That's great. About it. That's great for for this guy. Perfect. The uh, what did we decide his name was? The, the the Mad King's wish granter. The Mad King's pawn or something the like Mad that. Mad King's yeah. pawn, colon spirit of the lamp. Yeah, spirit nice. spirit of the lamp. The Mad King's pawn. I like that. I like that. That's good. All right, let me in. You guys got me excited. Okay, Julia. Revenant of Agrabah. <laughs> All right, well, since we're keeping up with the uh, the tradition today of hitting the uh, what's popular, the, the Frozen 2 trailer just dropped, and I watched it. Yeah. And it's a really cool trailer, first of all. Yeah, it's, it got me super psyched for the movie. And second of all, Elsa's almost already a boss. Hell yeah, she is. She's got magic powers, and she fits really well with the Souls series specifically, because there are already ice-themed knights, the mm-hmm. uh, knights from Irithyll, Right. Like the dancer of the Boreal Valley in Dark Souls 3, um, who are like armored and wispy and, and dancey and have icy stuff going on. Right. So I wanted to see what Elsa would be like. It's like a queen, like an Irithylian queen. <laughs> I was really hoping this was all a build up and then you were going to be like, now draw Olaf. No. <laughs> I would not do that to Juliet. <laughs> can you include Olaf in this design, though? Yeah, I can Olaf include does Olaf. Need to be yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a requirement. I'm excited about this. Yeah, I feel like Elsa's a, a good fit. She's a natural fit. Yeah. Because she almost has a story, like if, if Frozen had a dark ending. Oh, yeah. yeah. She, she pretty much has a Dark Souls lore story. She was like shunned from society, yeah. isolated herself, focused on her isolated experiments. Herself. <laughs> isolated herself. Oh, Nathan. <laughs> I'm done talking this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I did get the art book for Frozen after the movie came out, and I think they said that it was originally supposed to be like a villain origin story with Elsa. Um, one thing, Julia, that's probably important to note here yeah, is that in all the Dark Souls games, yeah. I don't think there's any boss that has their face completely exposed. Yeah, no, I'm Everyone's going to- Everyone's always either wearing something that covers the top half of their face and their eyes or the bottom half of their face. I can't believe that you don't know me by now. Julia I, has I to draw the face first. <laughs> Thank you, Nathan. <laughs> she has to draw the whole face. Oh. To cover it up. This is All Might. I've yeah, drawn All Might. This is All Might. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's All Might. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm doing today. I'm drawing some All Might. Um, okay, so she has like. Okay, so let, okay, let me. Okay, all right. Okay, okay, okay. all right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Hold on, hold all right. Let okay. me figure out kind of what. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can tell like Julia's excited about this drawing and not just frustrated because like. <laughs> She's actually talking. Well, She's I'm not... trying to like figure out what yeah. I'm doing here. She's walking like Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> you um... saw her in between the trees. <laughs> <laughs> Are um... you putting your head in a can? Uh, it's gonna be a cage. So kind of what I'm thinking is that her power is so like powerful that That's they- powerful power. That's powerful, powerful power. power. They put her damn head in a cage. Or like try to do ice now. She's like, this doesn't stop me at all. Well, because she has that scene where, you know, they put her in like the little handcuffs. Yeah. 
and then she breaks out of it. So I want to lean into that. Like that head, that was the point where she was like head cuffs. Fuck y'all humans. Fuck y'all non-magical humans. Yeah, so in this one she's been isolated not of her own volition in like a, you know, right. um empowerment sort of way, but she was like imprisoned for her power. Right. Sent away and and caged. And then she breaks out. Obviously. Obviously. Because she's a badass. But she keeps the cage on her on her face. Well, she's like mad at this point. Yeah. It reminds me of the Dark Souls 2 boss, the Lost Sinner. Ooh. Who dat? Who is uh, imprisoned. The Lost as Sinner? Well. Yeah, she's just this, this big, scary woman <laughs> who's like, bl- <laughs> she's like blinded. And uh-huh. you fight her in a very dark room, so you're also kind of blinded unless uh-huh. you've gone through this process of lighting these torches. So she's she's got an advantage. So she's like always she's appearing, used to being... yeah, appearing out of the shadows to stab the shit out of you. Yeah, also doesn't even need to stab the shit out of you. She can just freeze you. So she's gonna have cuffs as well. Yeah. Manacles. Yeah. She's gonna have like busted out of them. Man, I'll have to show you the Lost Center after this because it's giving me vibes. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll put it up in the video. We'll put it up in the video. David, put it in. Right now. right now. Wow, look at that. Wow. There it is. There she is. There she is. The Lost Center. We found her. We found her. Okay. I feel like this boss's name would be like the Exiled Heir. Oh, yeah. sure. She's should like she still, still be in the dress, maybe? Maybe like the tattered remains. Yeah, a tattered, of dress. Yeah. A tattered icy dress. Okay. I just love that they stuck her head in a cage. Yeah. They didn't they, know. They were at such They're a idiots. loss for yeah. like what to do. They're like, I guess. Oh, oh this. <laughs> they they went to the the cage maker and was like, we've got to contain this this powerful threat. And so he builds them the cage, and they're like, this is way this too is, small. So you didn't tell me the size. The size of the threat. This is this is all the magic I could fit into a cage. <laughs> Any bigger, it would have taken longer. And they're like, ah, oh, shit. I guess. I just, guess just put it on her head. Just stick it on her head. Just stick I guess. it on her head. I guess. Whatever. Dang. Despite all my rage, I am still just a queen in a cage. Ah. Uh, 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 the world is a vampire. Okay. She gonna be holding like a thing. Yeah, cause doesn't a bone. What's the prince's name? The evil one. Spoilers. Prince. Prince Hardrick. <laughs> Prince Hardrick. Prince Hardrick. <laughs> What's his name? Prince Eric. <laughs> it's not Eric. Prince Charming. Han- Hans. Just Hans. Hardrick. Hans Hardrick is his full name. So Hans has a sword. Oh, he does. He's got a dinky little sword. He does have a dinky little sword. Well, he's a dinky little man. Uh, he doesn't really do anything. But those sideburns. But those sideburns, though. Mm, that's true, though. Everybody's worried about getting frozen, but I'm getting burns. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. It took me a second to understand. It was bad. And then it was it was bad, but it was good. Remember when I said uh when I said isolated before? I do remember that. It totally ruined my momentum for <laughs> what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> As as any good co-host uh, does to their to their friend and co-host, really just bring whatever they're up to to a screeching yeah, halt. Yeah, I that's you know that's sort of my role here. So she's got Hans Hardrick's sword. <laughs> yeah, and she's kind of like dragging it along. Yeah, yeah. So I want her to be like, and she's imbued it with some icy qualities. Yeah. What's the 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 deer's name? Bamtard. You two are not very helpful. <laughs> Mine was better. Nathan's was better. I just want that that guy. I hate that deer. He's, I hate he's Olaf, a, too. He's a goober. They're both goobers. Olaf's great. No, he's not. Get out of here. Look at him. He's not great. He's not your friend. It's Josh Gad. <clears throat> All I'm saying is you can't be bad if it's Josh Gad. I want to get in an Olaf. I want to get in a few things. Is okay. this going to be Olaf? Yeah. I bet that that carrot nose is real stabby. He, he he stabs you real good with that. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's terrifying. 
Okay. Um, he's a little like, chomper, isn't he's he? A little, he's a little, he's gonna bite you. Oh. I want him to be like. What is happening? So he has little antlers. Oh, he's a, he's a combo. It's a fusion of Olaf and the, and the reindeer. And the wretched deer. I feel like she like found the antlers or, or ripped it off because she's just like insane now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do with this guy. I would laugh so hard if I went into a boss room and this little thing was in there. <laughs> well, this yeah. is what you see first. and You start fighting it. And I think when you get it down to maybe like half health, then Elsa shows up and you're like, oh, shit. Oh, then, there's the real one. Oh, there's the real one. I mean, the, the Dark Souls games do do well with sometimes making things look so bizarre that they're almost comical. Yeah. Like, like, like those frogs that have people faces inside their mouths. Like the frog that has a people's face inside its mouth or like the basilisks with their big stupid eyes <laughs> scrambling around. Like you see them and you want to be like, that's almost funny, but I'm so scared. Yeah. Like it doesn't care if I think it looks funny. It's got spider legs. Yeah. It's, it's got spider legs. And it was, they're like a little stickies. Uh, they are. There's a Hollow Knight. That's fine. Yeah. That's kind of like a Souls game. Should Hollow he have little is an unofficial Souls game. Olaf yeah. hairs. Yeah. All right. I gotta finish yeah. this Elsa. Or Elsa. Ah. That was good, Jacob. <laughs> Did you like it, Julia? It was good. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> you can tell Julia liked it. <laughs> Well, she said so. Because she said so. Yeah. And I would. I trust. I trust her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She wouldn't lie to me. No. Julia never. has never lied. I like this one because it's like so heavy. It's like dragging her arm down plus yeah. the sword. I was trying to tackle the fact that things look kind of medieval sometimes in. Oh, some tatters. Of course. Good. I gotta steal Jacob's tatters idea. Tatters are big. Yeah. In tatters the Soul are series. tatters are big. Tatters are hot right now. Tatters are really hot right now in the Soul series. Um, that's her hair back there. Here comes Queen Elsa. What are you wearing? Ah, oh, tatters. Lovely tatters. Lovely tatters. You know what they think. say, if it ain't tattered, it don't matter. Yeah, that's what they say. That's what they say in Dark Souls. <laughs> so the, the soldiers and Hans, they all wear these like yellow ropes around. Oh, yeah. And I like the idea that like the first thing that she did was that she went after them. And she takes a and rope takes for each their, one. She takes yeah. the ropes. Drapes them over her. Oh my gosh! Why do you remember the ropes that they wear? Uh, because I thought it was a. It's like a cool, like military theme thing. I just love that you remember nothing about anything, but you do remember that Hans soldiers in Frozen wear <laughs> yellow ropes on their arms. If, if a character has a cool fashion thing, Julia will remember that. Yeah. But not the character's name or what they did. No. Or what the story was. Or where she was. <laughs> no, no. I don't remember no details. Oh, other some than that. skulls. Yeah, of course. Yeah, get the skulls on there. Okay, get get some of that. Okay. That skull looks grumpy. <laughs> skulls kind of look grumpy. It's a living. Oh, whatever. I didn't think she's just like. You know what the eyes on your Olaf remind me of? What? They remind me of that panda from Ranma One Half. Oh yeah, it does look like that. I'm thinking of the Hypnotoad. I drew a little Hypnotoady dude from Futurama. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, things remind us of things sometimes. I think she's just gonna be like in in the ice mountain region. I think it's like her prison that she kind of busted up. Nice. And then there's like you know some mountains. The mountains. It's a nice view. Oh, okay, that's a that's a crumbling wall behind her. Yeah, and this is all like frozen and whatever. Like the title of the movie. Feels frozen Pizarre. Frozen and whatever. Frozen 2 and whatever. Well, now I have to watch the trailer. It's so good, dude. It's pretty sweet. I never saw the first Frozen. Really? No. It's fine. I liked it a lot. I think it's time for us to let it go. Yeah. To, yes. And finish this episode. And, and finish this episode. Well, guys, we tried something. I thought it was fun, you know? It's fun to challenge ourselves sometimes in a, in a different way than we normally challenge ourselves. I, I'm real happy with all the drawings we, we done did this app. And uh, if you have any other uh, fun style mashup y type episode ideas or just episode ideas, leave them in the comments. And of course, if you really wanna wanna make us happy, sign up for Dropout. You can watch the show we made, Cartoon Hell, 
Uh, if you like Drawfee, we think you really like that as well. We've been posting the the previews on the Drawfee channel, but uh, if you want the full episodes, you, you got to sign up for Dropout, and uh, it is the best way to support Drawfee directly. You also get access to the Dropout Discord, and you can chat directly with us every Friday before our stream at uh, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will be on there talking with you guys, and uh, there's just a lot of good stuff on there, so, uh, so maybe check it out if you feel like it. We're sorry. 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 Isolated.